Hello and welcome to the Mr. Douglas Sports Show. I am your host as always, Corey Douglas. This show will be featured on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube and give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter at the Mr. Douglas. All right, this is part three of my three-part series where I'm going over my three favorite sports teams and things I want to see them accomplish during the 2020 calendar year. We've done the Mavericks, we've done the Rangers, now it's time to take a look at the Dallas Cowboys. All right, so before I get to my 2020 wish list for the Dallas Cowboys, I just want to congratulate the greatest coach in Cowboys history, Jimmy Johnson, for going into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I think this is another shot at Jerry. Jimmy is still not in the, the Ring of Honor, the Cowboys Ring of Honor. Uh, should have been in there years ago. And typically that's the way it works when you, you're part of the Cowboys organization is that you go into the Cowboys Ring of Honor first. And that gives you the spotlight to go into the Pro Football Hall of Fame later. Uh, but like I said, because Jerry is so petty and he wants so much credit for the 90s dynasty that the Cowboys had winning three Super Bowls, uh, he won't put him in. So uh, hopefully, hopefully Jerry will go ahead and do what's right and put him in the ring of honor this upcoming uh, season for the Cowboys because it's well-deserved. Like I said, he is the greatest coach along with Tom Landry in Cowboys history. So again, congrats, Jimmy Johnson. We love you. Cowboys Nation loves you. Let's go ahead and relive the 2019 Cowboys season. Um, as we all know, they went 8-8, eight and eight, missed the playoffs again, and that was the end of Jason Garrett. All right, so... With that being said, I think this was the most frustrating season that I've ever experienced as a Cowboys fan. I'm about to be 30 years old, and obviously they haven't accomplished anything since I was five or six years old. Uh, so it's been long overdue. They've had a lot of frustrating seasons, but I can honestly say the 2019 season was the worst season I've ever experienced as a Cowboys fan. It was just disgusting. I think this was the most lifeless, uh, heartless, uh, complacent, uh, entitled for no reason team that I've ever experienced uh, as being a Cowboys fan. I mean, you got guys like Jalen Smith celebrating as they're getting their butts whooped in Chicago and doing the swipe. And then after the game saying the swipe, it means so much more than football. It's about life and all this kind of stuff. And then you have players on Twitter saying that they don't understand the panic that was going on as they were in the middle of the slide. Uh, well, maybe we're frustrated because it's been 26 years of you losers doing nothing. Maybe if you guys were that frustrated, something would change, all right? So don't give, get on Twitter and start, oh, I don't know why fans are panicking. I don't understand the frustration. No, nah, get out of here with that. We don't want to hear it. Cowboys Nation has been here through thick and thin, and we're still going to be here. And some of the Cowboys fans are the most delusional fans in sports. I can honestly say that. However, I'm not one of them. And on this show, we're going to keep it real with the Cowboys, all right? Um, all right, so I think the frustration, uh, or at least my frustration with the Cowboys in the 2019 season was the talent on this roster was unbelievable. I think it was the most talented roster that the Cowboys have had in years. Um, I know a lot of people after the season have said that, no, nah, maybe the, the talent was overstated, uh, this, that, and the other. No, nah, this team was talented and they underachieved, all right? I think it's just another year where Garrett wasted a ton of talent. I mean, I can just name a few just right off the top of my head of guys that Jason Garrett wasted. Uh, let's start with Tony Romo, Demarcus Ware, Ezekiel Elliott, Dak Prescott, Des Bryant, Terrell Owens. I mean, it just the list goes on and on. That's just to name a few. I mean, I think Garrett should have been fired after the 2013 season. That was the third season in a row that he lost a big game in week 16 or week 17 to lose the division and miss the playoffs. Three straight eight and eight seasons. That would have been the time to cut bait. Uh, but instead, we live with seven more years of that. So I think it's been a lot of wasted time, a lot of wasted of fans time, players times, uh, his coaching staff's time, uh, just a lot of wasted time going around. So um, that's really all I have to say about the 2019 season. I didn't want to watch them a lot of Sundays or Mondays or Thursdays or whenever they play. They consistently embarrassed us as Cowboys Nation. Uh, just a bunch of heartless guys going out there each Sunday, Thursday, or Monday. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and start my 2020 wish list for the Dallas Cowboys. Number one, uh, I want Jerry Jones to take a step back. And when I take a say, when I say take a step back, I don't mean sell the team and you know some of that ridiculous stuff. I just mean let the coach coach. Um, you you have a head coach for a reason, and you need to let him do his job. 
I think one of the most telling things that has come out of this since the season ended was that uh, Jane Slater went on local radio and said that uh, she saw a text from a player uh, to Jerry or to Jason telling him to F off. And Jerry told the player that he didn't have to listen to Garrett. Uh, Jerry, come on, man. You can't do that. Uh, so, yeah, I just want him to take a step back. I heard the McCar Mike McCarthy press conference and Mike McCarthy really emphasized on he was sold on the idea that it's going to be we decisions. I don't believe it. Uh, Jerry is a salesman. He's trying to keep fans engaged. Uh, all of his words are pretty empty to me. Uh, so, yeah, I don't believe anything he says. I need to see it, you know, when the season rolls around and times get hard, you lose a couple of games and... I want to see Jerry, you know, stay up in the booth and just continue um, just watching like a fan, really. I mean, he's just, he's the owner of the team. I know he's a GM. I know Steven, Will McClay, they've stepped up as of recently as to, you know, making decisions and helping Jerry with that process. It's not enough. So, Jerry, sit down somewhere. All right, so my second wish for the 2020 Dallas Cowboys is... I really hope that Mike McCarthy really learned from his uh, end of his tenure in Green Bay. Uh, obviously, he had a lot of stuff going on with Rodgers and, you know, a lot of the reports out of Green Bay say that his message got stale and players weren't buying in necessarily. His play calling got predictable. Oh, wait a minute. That sounds familiar because we just got done with 10 years of it. So hopefully he really learned from that. I know during the Mike McCarthy experience that I saw on the Internet, he said that he hired a 14 person analytics staff. Um, we'll see if that translates because it seems like he told some fibs during that interview that he had with the Jones family. Uh, the number one fib that he said is that he said that he watched all of Cowboys, all of the Cowboys snaps in the 2019 season. Uh, he said, no, nah, he just wanted the job. So I, I, as little as that is, I don't think it's a good sign. So I'm really hoping that he learned from that experience because if he's bringing the same message he ended his tenure in Green Bay with, I think it's going to get stale quick here because we just got done with a coach that was stale, predictable. Um, so hopefully he learned from that. All right, so my number three wish for the Dallas Cowboys in 2020 is I want no training camp distractions. I mean, no arrest. I don't want any contract disputes. I want the Cowboys to ditch the deadlines made deals philosophy. That philosophy sucks. It doesn't work. I think you end up losing more than you you gain from doing that. Um, I think the latest example is Demarcus Lawrence. His shoulder surgery got put off last offseason because he wanted his new contract, and he held that over the Cowboys' head saying, hey, I'm not going to have this surgery until I get my new contract. Obviously, he missed the whole offseason program, came back late in training camp, and he obviously wasn't full speed throughout the season. I think the missed offseason and then coming off so shoulder surgery really hurt him. Uh, and then Zeke, obviously, we know he missed training camp and, you know, he had a down year, but, you know, a down year for Zeke is still 1,300 yards and still one of the best running backs in the league. You got, when you look at some of the contracts that are coming up for the Cowboys with Dak Prescott, with Amari Cooper, with Byron Jones, you know, if you want those guys, you need to get those guys in camp through the offseason program, especially with a new coaching staff, because uh, obviously Mike McCarthy's come in and he's cleaned house. So I think that's very important for this season, especially. Uh, so ditch the, the deadlines make deal philosophy and uh, go into the season with the right mind frame, the, might, the right mindset. Like Marshawn Lynch said, get your mental right, take care of your chickens. No, but for real, um, no, Cowboys need to uh, take this offseason seriously and get off to the right start in 2020. So like I said, number one on my 2020 wish list is Jerry, just take a step back. Like I said, I'm not asking you to sell the team or anything ridiculous like that. Just let your coaches coach. Number two on my 2020 wish list is that I hope McCarthy really learned from his Green Bay experience. Um, like I said, he got stale at the end, so hopefully, he, you know, he can really bring a new positive mindset to the, the Cowboys franchise. I think they needed a new voice after hearing the same voice for 10 years. And then number three is the no training camp distractions, specifically with contract extensions. Please don't bring that into the season. We need to be, you know, full go, uh, have everybody that you want in camp. If you want Byron Jones, sign him. If you want Amari Cooper, sign him. And obviously I think we all know Dak Prescott's deal is gonna get done. All right, well, this has been my three-part series where I went over my three favorite teams and things I wanna see them accomplish during the 2020 calendar season. 
Next time, we will dive into the contract situations of the Dallas Cowboys. I call them the big three contract situations. That's Dak Prescott, Amari Cooper, and Byron Jones. Until then, salute. <laughs>